Um, in this video I am going to show you how to change the hydraulic suspension fears of a Citroen C5 and um, a couple of videos on the on YouTube are available but in my opinion they're missing out an interesting step and that is um, when you depressurize uh, the hydraulic system you absolutely need to remove the hydraulic fluid first to a very low level because when you depressurize the system uh, a lot of fluid comes flowing back into the into the container and uh, if your fluid level is relatively high initially uh, you got the car down on the lowest setting and you depressurize then uh, the container is overfilled at least uh, it was the case with my container so what I did before I depressurize I unscrew the lid here a bit a little bit and um, I removed quite an amount of uh, hydraulic fluid so this, that's approximately yeah, a good liter or so uh, to make room for the fluid flowing back, back from the depressurization, depressurization sorry, uh, process. Um, I got the Lexia connected inside the car and I'm going to uh, select the depressurization sequence now and you can watch the fluid level rise here. Okay, depressurization has finished now, took a couple of minutes and as you can see the fluid level has risen quite a lot. If the container contains the liquid level that is necessary for normal operation it's going to overflow and and or if the cap is still screwed on tightly it might even burst fuck okay this has now a very tight fit this is the card. Okay, now let's give it a try. Okay. Oh, the cylinder is moving. This is not good. Back. Okay. So it seems to be the same thing on the C5 as they told me on YouTube with the other Citrants that you need to have pressure applied to the Rear spheres, then you loosen it and then you depressurize and then you can go. Okay, now let's do that. So, let's see. Okay, um, after a bit of fiddling and twiddling, the spheres are now loosened and the final trick that uh, allowed to loosen the spheres was placing the coarse emery paper folded over between this tool and the actual sphere. Um, I've also cleaned the sphere with uh, alcohol to remove the, the muck and the, the hot wax. So the sphere is now loose as you can see. The car uh, has again been depressurized. So it's... Uh, oh, hello. So it's, uh, it's very low. But now it's loose as you can see. 
Now we're gonna remove this. Here's the tool. Here's the coarse paper. And coarse emery paper when fixing like this. Okay. Now let's get a rack. Clean this area around the cylinder first. I got so many stains on my parking glove. So one more it doesn't matter. Now uh, the old O-ring is gonna be removed. Clean this as good as possible. Mm. It's doing it that good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Have a look. Yeah, so what you might be able to see here is the actual piston of the hydraulic system, um, which pushes the hydraulic liquid against the sphere. And then there's a bladder in the sphere, and then the outside of the bladder, there's the pressurized gas and this gives you this smooth Citroen feeling when driving over bad roads. Okay, and that's the that's the new O-ring. Here we go. And that's the new O-ring here. Dip the clean finger in the oil here. Good. Grease this groove where the ring will be seated. And I'm also greasing the ring itself. There you go. Now it's greasy. Put it again here in the groove. Um, yeah, lovely. Okay, here we go. So the ring has now a good fit in the groove 
everything is uh, lubricated with hydraulic fluid, nothing else, at least I hope so. Now let's get the new sphere on. Here it is. Ta-da! The new sphere. Manufacturing date March 2017. So let's get some oil on the threads here. And also on the contact surface here in front. And now move it on. Just um, make sure that when you're going into the threads that you do not disturb or dislocate the o-ring since uh, this would probably eliminate This would probably eliminate this, the seal. Okay, so here we go. So, and I'm just going to tighten it, uh, maybe. Quarter of a turn or something with the tool again, just to make sure it's tight. People say hand tighten only, but I, I did this on the front spheres and they weren't too tight, so maybe I'm too weak. Job's done. So <laughs> So thanks for watching. That's how you depressurize your Citroen C5 and replace the rear spheres. Bye.